Hello, my name is Jonathan Bischoff, and I'm a software engineer in the Keras team. I'm excited to introduce Keras CV and Keras NLP, two easy-to-use modular libraries for computer vision and natural language processing. The last few years of ML innovations have greatly expanded our understanding of what is possible with machine learning. From breakthrough performance and classic benchmarks to the exciting new field of generative AI, it's critical to stay up-to-date with the latest models to be competitive. At the same time, state-of-the-art models have gotten increasingly complicated and often require expensive pre-training to be useful. That's why we're introducing Keras CV and Keras NLP, the easiest way to deploy state-of-the-art pre-trained models for text and image classification, object detection, and generative AI, and more in the TensorFlow ecosystem. With these libraries, you'll have access to cutting-edge models with a simple and consistent API. Take a look at these two examples. You can fine-tune a Burke classifier or generate images from a text prompt with just a few lines of code. And because these libraries are extensions of the Keras framework, they feature the same easy-to-use APIs that Keras users have come to expect and are fully integrated with key components of the TensorFlow ecosystem, such as TPUs, dTensor, XLA, and TF Lite. Finally, these libraries feature a modular design that makes it easy to build custom workflows for any use case. Let's explore both libraries in more detail. First, let's check out Keras CV. Let's start our tour of the unified Keras CV and NLP modeling API with an image classification task. In this example, we would like to classify images as cat, a negative label, or dog, a positive label. The highest level model in Keras CV and NLP is a task. A task, like image classifier, is a Keras model consisting of a backbone submodel and task-specific layers required for solving a specific problem. Backbone models, in turn, are a set of reusable layers generally pre-trained on a separate task to extract highly informative features from the input data, greatly reducing the amount of labeled data and compute resources required to get competitive performance on your task. In this example, we use a ResNet architecture for our backbone. To load models with pre-trained weights in Keras CV and NLP, use the from preset constructor with the name of a preset. In this case, a ResNet 50 ImageNet is a 50-layer ResNet model pre-trained on ImageNet classification. You can find a list of all available presets in the class doc string or on the Keras.io website. Once we've created our backbone model, we pass it to the image classifier constructor along with a number of classes we'd like to predict. After that, compile and fit the model like any other Keras workflow, and you're ready to go. Keras CV also supports object detection. This is a significantly more complex task than image classification because the model can detect any number of objects and must predict a class and bounding box for each. In this example, blue boxes and classes are ground truth labels for objects in the image, while the orange boxes and classes are inferred by a Keras CV RetinaNet model. Despite this added complexity, creating an object detection model with a RetinaNet architecture is very similar to image classification. We again choose a pre-trained ResNet 50 backbone using the from preset constructor. The main difference is requiring labeled bounding boxes in the training set and specifying the bounding box format in the task constructor. After that, compile and fit the model like any other Keras workflow, and you're ready to go. Data augmentation is a critical pre-processing step necessary to maximize accuracy in computer vision tasks. In order to avoid overfitting to the lighting, cropping, and other particularities of the training set, it is important to rotate, noise, and even mix together original images to increase the robustness of the training objective. For example, the flowers in the upper left panel are original images from the training set and the flowers in the lower right panel are versions augmented by Keras CV. Keras CV offers a wide variety of augmentation layers, all in a simple API that can transform classification labels and object detection bounding boxes along with the original images. These include random flip for rotations, random augment for intensity perturbations, cut mix and mix up for creating composite images, and many more. Simply combine your desired augmentation layers in a Keras model and map over your dataset before training the model. 
Excited about generative AI? So are we. Keras CV provides dead simple interfaces to the latest text-to-image models such as Stable Diffusion to generate novel images from your text prompts. Instantiate a Stable Diffusion task with the desired output image size, and then call the model's text-to-image method with a prompt and the number of output images. We tried photograph of an astronaut riding a horse and can't argue with the results. We're constantly adding more generative AI capabilities to Keras CV. Here are some advanced features we already support. Textual inversion is a method to teach stable diffusion models specific visual concepts via examples. For example, we can provide a set of images to teach the model about our teammate's cat, and then ask him to be visualized as a fantasy character. Prompt to prompt is a method to modify the prompt to stable diffusion while keeping the image visually consistent. For example, after asking Stable Diffusion to generate a photo of a dog with sunglasses, we can replace dog with cat and get a visually similar image of a cat wearing sunglasses instead. Want to learn more? Check out all our generative AI guides at keras.io slash keras underscore CV. Next, let's talk about Keras NLP, which unlocks natural language processing workflows with the same easy to use API. Let's start by training a sentiment analysis classifier to predict whether movie reviews are positive or negative. We instantiate a Burke classifier task model using the from preset constructor. One difference from Keras CV is that Keras NLP's task models like Burke classifier include pre-processing by default. This means that you can pass raw strings at both training and serving time without worrying about the correct tokenization and packing methods. For this reason, it is best to call from preset on the task model itself, rather than passing an explicit backbone. This will automatically give you a matching preprocessor class, which will tokenize and pad the input text to match the expectations of the backbone class. In this case, we choose the BERT base EN uncased preset, which is one of the largest architectures trained on lowercased English data. This backbone has been pre-trained on gigabytes of text data to understand the meaning of words in context and extract more information from our labeled examples. You can find a list of all available presets in the class doc string or on the keras.io website. After fine-tuning our model on a data set of sentiment-labeled movie reviews from the IMDb, we can predict the sentiment of two new movie reviews. We see that our first review, What an Amazing Movie, is given a 99.6% probability of having positive sentiment, while our second review, A Total Waste of My Time, is given almost the same probability of having a negative sentiment. Keras NLP also offers text generation using popular models such as GPT-2 and OPT. Fine-tuning a text generation model is as easy as classification. Simply pass a data set of text that you want the model to imitate, and pre-processing will be handled automatically. Causal LM is a task model that predicts each token and input sequence given all the preceding tokens. It is the canonical approach to training generative text models that can predict new tokens given a user prompt. In this example, we load a pre-trained base GPT-2 model using the from preset constructor and fine tune it on 300,000 news articles from CNN and the Daily Mail. After that, we compile and fit the model like any other Keras workflow. Causal LM tasks come with a generate method, allowing you to specify a prompt and maximum output length to generate new text. Here we generate the start of a news article about snowfall in Buffalo, New York. Snowfall in Buffalo, New York was expected to reach two feet by the end of the day, according to the National Weather Service. Wow, that's a lot of snow. We've now seen a number of high-level APIs to build state-of-the-art models with just a few lines of code. But what if we want more customization or to build something entirely new? The Keras ecosystem of libraries is built around the progressive disclosure of complexity. This means that simple use cases should be simple and advanced use cases should be possible. We accomplish this by building up our highest-level APIs from a set of lower-level modules they're as well-documented and easy to use as all the models we've shown you thus far. For example, suppose your data set includes relatively short text segments and that training requires many passes through the data. 
In that case, the built-in preprocessor in Burke Classifier may not be a good fit for you, since it will pad all sequences to the max length of 512 tokens and recompute all the preprocessing in every epoch of training. For these situations, you don't have to fork our code or start from scratch. Our BERT classifier is built from customizable BERT backbone, BERT preprocessor, and BERT tokenizer classes that each have their own from preset methods. To access the preprocessor directly, simply call our BERT preprocessor class with the same preset name as the classifier and any custom parameters that you want to specify, such as the shorter sequence length. You can then apply the preprocessing yourself, in this example including caching so that tokenization is not recomputed in each epoch. To avoid invoking the preprocessor twice in your workflow, simply pass preprocessor equals none to the task constructor. Compile and fit the model like any other Keras workflow, and you're ready to go. Want even more flexibility? Want to build your own custom transformer-based classifier from scratch? Keras NLP offers all the necessary primitives to build a unique NLP model in just a few lines of code. These primitives are the very same methods we use to build state-of-the-art models that you've already seen. Using the Keras functional API, the first step to creating a new model is declaring an input tensor. In this case, our input is a variable length sequence of token IDs. We then pass this sequence to an embedding layer that learns a unique vector representation for each token ID and sequence position returning the sum for each token in the sequence. We then pass the embedding output to a stack of configurable transformer encoder layers that apply a sequence of multi-head attention and feed forward layers to the input. The output of the stack is our final sequence representation. To produce a single classification output for the token sequence, the common practice is to put a placeholder token at the beginning of the sequence and pass this token's representation to the input of a feed forward layer with the same number of outputs as classes to predict. As with any Keras model, we pass the functional inputs and outputs to the constructor and get a model instance. Compile and fit the model like any Keras workflow, and you're good to go. Keras CV and NLP models are part of the TensorFlow ecosystem and are compatible with all your favorite features, including TF Lite and TFJS for inference on the mobile devices and the browser, XLA compilation and TPU accelerators for fast inference, and Dtensor for multi-accelerator inference, which is important for the latest language models with weights as large as tens of gigabytes. Please check out our I.O. workshop on device large language models with Keras and Android for an in-depth tutorial on our TF Lite integration, and the What's New with TensorFlow talk for more details on Dtensor integration. Want to learn more about Keras NLP and Keras CV? Check out our website for guides, examples, and API docs keras.io slash keras underscore NLP and keras.io slash keras underscore CV. Are you a developer? Our libraries are completely open source and built with the help of a worldwide developer community. Join us on GitHub and help us build these amazing tools. github.com slash keras dash team slash keras dash NLP and github.com slash keras dash team slash keras dash cv. Thank you for checking out the Keras CV and Keras NLP libraries with me. We hope you join us for the next generation of applied ML tooling for TensorFlow. Mm -hmm.